In the late 19th century, the first electric car was built in London by Thomas Parker, who was motivated to improve fuel efficiency and reduce smoke and pollution in the city. The first model of Parker's design was manufactured in 1896. I'm Brianna and this is Cheyenne. Although the first electric vehicle was built more than 100 years ago, Parker's concerns about the environment and fuel efficiency still hold true today. In the early 1900s, interest in electric vehicles progressed. Despite their slow speed, electric vehicles had several advantages, like reduced noise and odor common in gasoline-powered vehicles. However, over the years, the interest in electric vehicles began to deteriorate due to infrastructure advances and the need for greater range. It wasn't until the 2000s that the idea of more fuel-efficient and cleaner vehicles regained its popularity with consumers. ZF has already developed a cost-effective, electrified driveline, including control units and power electronics, for hybrid modules, plug-in hybrid systems, and all-electric concepts. In addition, ZF's electric twist beam and electric car driveline integrated in a semi-independent rear suspension helps enhance both driving safety and dynamics. ZF's all-electric drive technologies allow small and mid-sized passenger cars to perform well in city traffic with zero emissions. Now, ZF is using its experience in driveline electrification for the electric axle drive. It is being used as a complete drive solution for light and medium-sized electric passenger cars. As we continue to learn about the harmful effects of air pollution and the need to conserve fuel, popularity for electric and hybrid vehicles will grow, and ZF will continue to be at the forefront of research and development of electrification.